Hello everybody. Today is Wednesday. We celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation, March 25th. The angel comes to Mary and gives her the most wonderful news a person could have ever received. The incarnation of the Son of God out of love for our salvation. So today I want to talk about a beautiful prayer, one of the most beautiful prayers our Christian tradition has, the Angelus. I want to talk about it because I think there is a tradition that we need to recover. It's a beautiful prayer that helps us to connect with God, a beautiful prayer that helps us to uh, be aware of the presence of the Lord every day in our daily lives. So let us listen to the passage that gives origin to this beautiful prayer. This is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And coming to her, the angel said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. The angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters, today's celebration, the Annunciation, and this beautiful passage from the Gospel of Luke gives origin to this beautiful prayer, the Angelus. And I want to share this with you because this prayer helps me in two ways. The first one, I stop three times during the day and I recenter myself in Jesus that is the source of all blessings. I think of Jesus at six o'clock in the morning, at noon time, and at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Three times in which, no matter how busy we could be, we think of the Lord and we ask for his help and his guidance. And second, I pray through the intercession of Mary, our mother, Three Hail Marys, three times a day, because Mary was chosen by God, like you and I have been chosen. She said yes to the plan of salvation, like you and I are invited, are invited to say yes to God every single day. And third, she gave light to the world by, by becoming the mother of Jesus, our Savior. And we are called to give life to our world. So we pray with the Hail Mary. 
This is a very ancient prayer. It used to be prayed by all the people in the Middle Ages because uh, the, they wanted to be united with the monks who were in the monasteries. So three times a day, they heard the bells of the church ringing, reminding them of this beautiful prayer. So they, the people stopped, they thought of God for a few minutes, they prayed through the intercession of Mary, and then they continue with their daily routine. What a beautiful way to connect with God every day. And this is my invitation. Somebody invited me to pray at one time this beautiful prayer, and I did it, and I felt in love with it. So I want you today to also remember the angels and pray with it. It's, an, it's a great way to connect with God in the morning, at noon time, and in the afternoon. We can do it once a day, twice a day. The idea is to do it three, three times a day and connect with God through the intercession of our Mother Mary. And many saints have recommended this beautiful prayer. Among them, there is uh, San Anthony of Padua, San Louis de Montfort, San Alfonso Ligori, San Jose Maria Escriba, and John Paul II. They invited us to pray through the intercession of Mary because Mary said yes to God. She was chosen. And today, that is what we celebrate. Mary, our mother, who intercedes for us from her place in heaven. And she knows that God is with us. She knew that in, the, in times of difficulty. So Mary always followed the will of God. And today we remember that. So I invite you to pray with me today, the angels. Let us pray together. Maybe you already prayed the angels daily. Probably you do it already. Or maybe this is an opportunity to start praying it again. Maybe this is the first time you have really heard of the prayer. And that is okay. It was completely new to me before I started praying it. And why did I start? Because somebody invited me to, to pray the angels. The angels is a devotion meant to be shared with others. So let us pray together, whether physically present with others at home or spiritually connected, you and I, as I have been telling you during this whole week, we are connected in heart, in faith, and in love. So let us pray together and let us ask Mother Mary today to intercede for us, to increase our faith, and to help us to know that God is with us, especially through this difficult time, because He is more powerful than anything else. God is with us to grant us His healing power. All we have to say is to say yes to the Lord, as Mary did, to His plan of salvation and love. So let us pray together. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, this is my invitation for you today to remember that the day of the Annunciation, Mary said yes to the Lord. She said yes to his plan of salvation and love. And today we are called to do the same, to say yes to God every day. And the angelus is a way to remember that. Every day we are busy, we're, we have this and that to do, so we need to stop for two, three minutes and pray to God. And pray to God through the, through the intercession of Mary and receive all the blessings, the consolation, the peace, the guidance we need. So let us remember that we are also called to say yes to God and his plan of salvation and love, especially today and during these days that people need more the light of God, the light of Jesus, and the presence and consolation of our Mother Mary. So may today we, may all of us be embraced by the arms of our Mother Mary and protected from all evil forces. May, be, may all of us be embraced by the arms of our Mother Mary and receive all we truly need her consolation, her peace, and her intercession. Thank you very much, and God bless you. And please, don't forget to smile. Mary is with us, and God is good. Thank you.